I represent the best group of volunteers ever, my board of directors, both past and present. I'm representing Verdine, my co-pilot, the Columbia Empowerment Zone Grant, the Columbia Empowerment Zone Inc., the Economic Development Corporation, and the City of Columbia. That's a lot. <laughs> we, meaning me and our city, are extremely fortunate to have such a committed group of citizens who often put service above self. The Columbia Empowerment Zone Inc. Board of Directors graciously and generously share their individual time, talents, and treasures without hesitation. I am blessed by their desire to come together with me, Verdine, and each other to accomplish community and economic goals. These goals are established through strategic planning and aligned with Envision Columbia. I consider my board of directors as jewels, and they are some of the city of the they are some of the city of Columbia's greatest resources. Their invaluable advice and guidance to me and their work on behalf of Columbia Empowerment Zone Inc has contributed to over $50 million in economic development activity in the city of Columbia. That deserves an applause. Thank you. My board of directors direct actions foster incredible sense of community, and they make Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. a great purpose, purposeful economic development corporation. On behalf of myself, Verdine Gleaton, my co-pilot, the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc. Board of Directors, Mayor Benjamin, members of council, City Manager Wilson, I welcome you to join us as we honor 20 years of service to the City of Columbia and celebrate 10 years as an economic development corporation. I invite you to peruse our office building and take notice of items displayed on our walls. The items on our walls represent many of the projects we've invested in, not all, and exemplifies our dedication to the economic growth of the City of Columbia. These projects have eliminated blight, reduced zoning issues, attracted new business, and retained businesses, and have provided opportunities for job creation. Again, we welcome you and are delighted you took the time to be here. It's an honor to be here. Uh, uh, you all know the story of the Empowerment Zone and the Empowerment Zones um, all across this country in 1999. Uh, we were blessed with an, uh, an incredible opportunity here that so many places took advantage of, some did not. And then when the Empowerment Zones uh, phased out, only a few, a select few, decided that they could indeed take things to another level. And I'm so thankful uh, to Felicia uh, and uh, the staff of the Empowerment Zone uh, incredibly thankful for Judge uh, Mildred Weathers McDuffie and the entire board that has really helped change the landscape of our, our city. Uh, smart, strong, strategic investments uh, that have allowed us to do some things that we're not nimble enough to do as a municipal corporation, but that need to get done. And those, that, those seed investments have, have, have yielded some incredible fruit for the people here in Columbia. So I have a, a proclamation here I want to read on behalf of the people of Columbia. Uh, whereas uh, Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie attended the public schools of Richland County School District 1, graduated in 1953 from the former Booker T. Washington High School and from Allen University and South Carolina State University, and whereas Mildred W. McDuffie taught in Richland County School District 1 and served in various administrative and volunteer capacities, and after she retired, Mildred W. McDuffie became no stranger to the Midlands. She served as a council member for Richland County Council, and whereas Mildred Weathers McDuffie was named by current State Senator Darrell Jackson as a magistrate judge, and whereas Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie has passionately demonstrated service above self by our volunteer service with the, within the public education system, higher education system, and as a dedicated servant on boards and commissions in the city of Columbia, and whereas Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie served in the Columbia, Sumter Columbia Empowerment Zone Board 10 years, for 10 years and led the effort to form the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc., a nonprofit economic development corporation and has served as chairwoman for 10 years and whereas volunteer service represents a partnership that invests in community solutions and leverages resources and Judge McDuffie has volunteered faithfully and provided leadership and excellence in economic development 
while serving with the Columbia Empowerment Zone, the CEZ Inc., and the City of Columbia. And whereas Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie has received numerous awards and honors, to name a few, she was chosen as one of the 10 most outstanding women in the Midlands by the March of Dimes and a member of the Wall of Fame by the Columbia Housing Authority. And whereas Judge Wil Mildred Weathers McDuffie is a devoted wife to her husband, and together they have two children and proud grandparents and great grandparents, Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie is the epitome of an American hallmark an exuberant powerhouse. Now, therefore, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, Mayor of the City of Columbia, along with my fellow members of the Columbia City Council, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, October 9, 2018, as Judge Mildred Weathers McDuffie Day in Columbia. Mm -hmm. Whereas Mr. Russell A. McCoy III was born in Greensboro, North Carolina. Did anyone catch his reaction? Okay. <laughs> was born in Greensboro, North Carolina, and eventually moved to Spartanburg, South Carolina, where he attended city schools. And whereas he graduated from Wofford College with a degree in economics and received a certificate from the Graduate School of Banking at Louisiana State University. And whereas in 1977, Russell A. McCoy III began his career in banking at Citizens and Southern National. And in 1981, uh, McCoy joined First Citizens Bank in Columbia, South Carolina, where he is currently serving as a senior vice president in commercial banking. And whereas his past community activities includes the Committee of 100 as treasurer, senior warrant officer, and treasurer of 15 years plus at St. John's Episcopal Church. And whereas Russell A. McCord III began his volunteer service with the City of Columbia at the South Columbia Development Corporation and TN Development Corporation as chairperson. And whereas Russell A. McCord III served on the Sumter Columbia Empowerment Zone Board for 10 years and assisted in leading the effort to form the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc., a nonprofit economic development corporation, and served as co-chairman for 10 years, and whereas Russell A. McCoy volunteers his time and his talents to promote economic well-being and quality of life in Columbia, South Carolina, by assisting with the establishment of new businesses that create jobs, blight elimination efforts, that create vibrant communities, public-private partnerships, that create economic opportunity and reinvest wealth into the city. And whereas Mr. Russell A. McCoy III is a fervent servant of the Columbia Empowerment Zone, Inc., and the City of Columbia, and devoted husband to his wife, and together they have two children, now, therefore, I, Stephen K. Benjamin, Mayor of the City of Columbia, along with my fellow members of City Council, to hereby proclaim uh, today as well Russell A. McCoy, the third day in Columbia. I've been working with them for 15 years, and I can count on one hand the number of meetings they've missed. And we don't just have monthly meetings. We have meetings throughout the week. We have meetings all the time. And no matter when I call, they have always answered and they have always delivered. So I am so grateful for them. And I can say that about all my board members. Y'all just wouldn't believe. I mean, I had someone over here today running around getting flowers, cassages, setting up food. Anything I need, they never say no. And I am so, so blessed. Uh, so and I just wanted to share that with everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. And it's humid, so I won't, I won't belabor the point. It's just a next, very exciting day. Um, as Felicia said, I was, um, I was served on the CEZ Inc. board um, when I first got elected. Actually, as a, as a baby councilwoman, I thought I was superwoman, and I served on every single development corporation board, including the CEZ Inc. Um, and I will tell you that we have an amazing staff in all of our development corporations, but um, my heart really is with the CEZ Inc. because not only have they um, really looked at how they can continue to invest in the community uh, without and be self-sufficient, um, but the dedicated board members, and especially uh, Judge and Russ, um, have been here since day one, and it's just been an honor to be able to watch all the great things that they do in the community. I, I actually sometimes get surprised when I hear Felicia talk about a project. I'm like, well, where'd that come from? Um, so I am glad to be here today. I'm glad to see the 10th anniversary of the CZ Inc., the only um, empowerment, empowerment zone throughout the country that lasted after the designation. Um, and I look forward to the next 10 years and seeing how much they invest in our community. And I want to thank the board for your tireless efforts, um, always being there, always willing to go the extra mile, and wanting to develop everywhere in this city, which is, is so important. So thank you for your service. Thank you all for being here. And congratulations, Felicia, for all your hard work. Isn't it a wonderful day in the life of this city of ours to celebrate these two persons, 
to celebrate the naming of this building and of course the naming of this uh, conference room. I need to just say a personal word about uh, Judge McDuffie. One of the interesting things about the judge, and I think you all know this, is that she doesn't care where she sees you or catches you, she pulls you real quick and says, I just need to talk to you about something. Here is a person who has, for the last however many months, her first time out and her first time out being right here at this Empowerment Zone celebration. 21 and a half million dollars we've given and invested in this community. 21 and a half million dollars, this city has felt the brunt of redevelopment, creativity, and all of the things that goes along with that. So we celebrate today celebrate not just for the sake of celebrating, but celebrate $21.5 million plus in addition to how many other projects we are going to re reinvest in. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you all for letting the rain stay where it's at. <laughs> Thank you all so much. What a joyous occasion to see Judge McDuffie first and foremost for me is particularly special. She has been a mentor of mine for many years. Um, I grew up in Columbia. I don't know if her husband remembers this, but I'm really going to date myself, but I have to say it. He drove, us, drove me to the prom. <laughs> <laughs> Me and a date, I'm not going to say who, um, but a, a class of childhood friend um, whose father used to be on city council. Anyway, but I'm just having a lot of um, moments here. But it's so exciting to see all of you here um, to join us. And um, I'm really particularly proud of the growth that I've seen with the Development Corporation. As a former assistant city manager, one of my first tasks was to oversee all of our Development Corporations. And now Missy Gentry, raise your hand, Missy. She is our assistant city manager who works with these groups every day. And, and they're doing such a great job. But those were the good old days for me because I worked with Judge McDuffie and where's Reverend Dozier? I think I saw him here, Mr. Hopkins and others. And that was a learning experience for me. But what it told me was that things get done with the community members by your side and working hard, like Felicia has said, volunteering their time. And to see them continue to do this and have grown in the way they have to be self-sufficient and independent, really, of the city in a way, to have their own facilities and business, um, business development tools that they're pushing, as Mayor Benjamin said, with us as a municipality makes all the difference. Um, in 2008, with the proof of their efforts and a strong desire to continue the good work they started, they voted to become a nonprofit development corporation and named the corporation the Columbia Empowerment Zone Inc. The contributions made by economic development organizations like these boards and their, and their volunteers lead to more jobs, enrich communities, increased tax base, reduction in crime and zoning issues and an overall greater quality of life. So the city is really pleased to join the Columbia Empowerment Zone Inc. in honoring its past celebrating its accomplishments and looking forward to a very bright future. And Felicia, continue to do the hard work that you're doing. Um, it certainly paid off and it will continue to bring us dividends. Thanks.